Hey everybody, and welcome back to Investment Honey, where we talk about various crypto projects. Before we begin, I want to let you know that I am not your financial advisor. I do not provide financial advice on the channel, and I don't even encourage you to invest, but what I am going to do is share with you my own personal opinion and views on the projects discussed on the channel. So this is GPS writing, or is that what it is? Yeah, GPS writing, just want to be sure. I didn't want to go ahead and say the name wrong when we got started. So, uh, but they're currently in their uh, seed sale stage, so they've got a private sale going on. So here's the information in regards to that. We also see an audit in the KYC badge from Pink Sale. We also see that this is BUSD, so not BNB, so be aware of that. Um, just under $12,000 raised out of the $50,000 uh, cap that they want to raise, but $25,000 is the soft cap. They've had 25 contributors, and $50 is the minimum contribution, $3,000 is the max contribution. So according to this, we see that there is some vesting, 80% you know, on release at launch, and then 20% per day um, you know, afterwards. However, if you're getting 80% at the start, and then you get 20% the next day, there really is no vesting. However, I think you would find it interesting, and I hope that somebody from the team can go ahead and address this for me, that when you look at their pitch deck, we're going to go to, no, that's not there, here it is that we see we're in the seed round right so we get 10 percent on token generation event and then 30 day cliff and when you're investing over 10 months so if that's the case okay then why is this saying that you get 80 percent here and then 20 percent the next day when for the same round it's stating 10 percent here at the token generation event 30 day cliff and when you're investing over 10 months the vesting here is way longer the vesting here looks like it's nothing at all. So I would like you know an explanation there in regards to why why the information does appear to be different to me. So um, initial market cap we're looking at 475,000. We see their circulating supply in regards to the GPS tokens. Um, we also see the roadmap here. We see team information here. Um, you know so and it looks like they've got you know apps coming out you know as well. So this uh, pitch deck is about you know 19 pages, so there is definitely information in there to go ahead and go through. We see a number of different links up here, you know, in the navigation bar, uh, respective links, you know, for the pitch deck and white paper, and then some information in regards to the token that it's a Web3 ride to earn metaverse project, looking past this primitive methods method of profits and building a sustainable long-term economy for Gen Z players and everyday non-crypto native to benefit from. Uh, we also have a video here uh, that you can press play on, but I'm not going to engage with that. Um, and then we see some information in regards to the socials and how many members they have on each. So we see their pre-sales, and we see pricing levels for each of them until you get to the token generation event, where the price is 0 0.01, and clearly you're getting a better deal here. Um, however, uh, let's see, going back to my notes, do want to let you know that they did have an audit you know, with this token. The audit did pass with no issues, but it was done through what I would consider a low-tier auditing company, Audit Rate Tech. Um, I personally like to see another audit done on this. It's a higher uh, tier audit. Um, uh, let's see here. So that would be it in regards to the notes that I wanted to share in regards to that. Uh, again, we see that we got an app coming with this particular token. Uh, what is the GPS token? It's a DAP20 token running on the uh, BSC. It can be used for both utility and purchase of the NFTs, participate in game modes, racing competitions, and governance. Uh, GPS is the heart of the GPS writing gamified sport fight ecosystem, and users are going to receive GPS tokens you know, for completing workout activities and bike racing tournaments uh, that are organized you know, by the GPS writing. And the ecosystem is broadly evolving with new developments in GameFi, SocialFi, FitnessFi, and Metaverse that connect Gen, Z Gen Zers and non-crypto natives uh, participating in healthy activities together. together. So they give us some information in regards to the app. I'm not going to go ahead and go through all of that. Staking, you know, will be associated with this project. Metaverse as well, and an NFT marketplace. So here we see information in regards to the tokenomics. You know, what's going, you know, to what. You know, the seed ground, the private sale, public sale, ride to earn, staking rewards, treasury team, partners and advisors, marketing, liquidity, etc. And then usage of the fund raised. So that's good information there. More token information to complement what we see up here. And then we see uh, the roadmap uh, in Q2 of 2022, pre-launch, uh, we see a number of different items. Um, let's see here, Q3 2022 launch. So here's where, based on where we're at. Website redesign, seed private public sale, uh, the DEX listing, market cap, CoinGecko, community growth, first smart contract audit, 
marketing campaign, metaverse planning, central exchange listing, fit beta app testing, metaverse marketplace design development. And then we see in Q4 of this year, mainstream application, more marketing, a partnership with global bike race uh, organizations, DeFi staking, NFTs, uh, the marketplace, a fit app launch, and more central exchange listings. And then Q1 2023, mass adoption, bridging to Ethereum and Polygon, which I do like. I see that as a good signal for me personally. Marketplace, metaverse, race live, live events integration, top tier central exchange listing, bridging to Solana, first exclusive sponsored event, and more esport metaverse game development. Now, they've got a lot of stuff listed. You know, on this roadmap, but, you know, again, it comes down to the team for me. Do they actually have the skill set and background to actually make this stuff reality? It's great to see, you know, all of the, you know, all the different items that they have on the, on the roadmap. But, again, um, I see a lot of roadmaps, you know, that have a ton of stuff they want to go ahead and do. Uh, for me, until it's done, it's all aspirational. You know, but do they actually have the team that can actually get this accomplished? You know, and only time's going to tell, right? I'd also like to see, you know, and I've said this on many different roadmaps, indicating what's been completed, what's pending, where they are currently at right now in terms of the development. I'd like those signals. I'd like to see that, you know, in terms of the roadmap. Um, and we don't see that. Is there, are they even going to go ahead and continue this roadmap beyond Q1 of 2023? Or is this where it ends, you know, in terms of anybody um, participating in this project and holding on to this token? So uh, that's my feedback there in regards to the roadmap. And then we see their team. Uh, partnerships, you know, advisors and their squad, a coal squad. So, um, and then we, we got some PR here, you know, as well. We got a blog and a contact us section here as well. So, ton of different socials here at the foot of the, of the website. But that's it, you know, in regards to GPS writing. So, I don't have anything else to add in regards to this particular project. But if you're interested in it, by all means, please go ahead and visit the website using the links that I'll leave in the description for you below. And, um, you know, guys, if you like the content that I'm continuing to release on the, on the channel, you're learning anything, by all means, please subscribe, like and content. All those things help to get content on a small channel like this out to more people on YouTube. Thank you guys so much for watching and supporting the channel. With that said, you guys enjoy the day.